I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. Let me thank all of you for participating actively and posting excellent questions. I have modified this question and made it a multiple choice question. The question is, if area of an equilateral triangle is 64 square root 3, find its perimeter. Four choices are given to you. So you can pause the video, copy the question, answer and here I'll try to provide you with some solutions. I really don't know what standard uh, or what is known to you at this stage to solve the question. So I'll provide you with some simple solutions, right? So here we have an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means all sides are equal, correct? All sides are equal. Uh, so let us take the side length of 2x. Okay, so we have all sides as 2x. This is also 2x. Here I've dropped a perpendicular from a vertex and this perpendicular will always divide the base in equal size. That means each side will be x units long. Perfect. Now what is given to us is that the area is 64 square root 3. So area equals to uh, area of a triangle is half base times height. And we are given this area is 64 square root 3. Uh, half of, in this case, the base is 2 times x. x could be any number. We have to really find that. Now, what is the height? That is what we have to figure out. To find the height, we can take help of trigonometry. Each angle here is 60 degrees, right? Since equilateral triangle, all equal angles, 180 degrees divided by 3 gives us 60 degrees, right? So that's how you get 60 degrees. Now, some people can use... Uh, Properties of a special triangle, which is 60, 30, 90. So if I have a 60, 30, 90 triangle, in that case, the sides are in the ratio of 1, 2, and square root 3. So that is the ratio. So if I have, uh, as I have, x, 2x, if I have x, 2x, that means this should be square root 3x. You could do that. The other way is to use trigonometry. Uh, we know sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So let me write down here, sine of 60 degrees is equals to the opposite side, h over hypotenuse 2x. Now sine of 60 degrees, you can use calculator, right? So we have, uh, let me shift mode, let me put it in degrees, I'm not very sure. Okay, so we'll find sine of 60 degrees, which is equal to square root 3 over 2, right? So that means square root 3 over 2 is equals to h over 2x. Now, if you know these special triangles, if this is 60 degrees, you could say square root 3 over 2 opposite over hypotenuse is sine, correct? So you could have done directly from here. But let's go, assume that we don't know this will adopt this method. So the height is equal to, we'll multiply this by 2x, so we get 2x square root 3 over 2, 2 and 2 cancel. So the height is x times square root 3, right? So we get height of x times square root 3, perfect. So that becomes the height for our case. Now it is simpler to calculate the values we know that 64 square root 3 is equal to, uh, we have to still multiply this by height, right? So half of 2x, which is the base, times the height, which is x square root 3, correct? Now, if you simplify, you could cancel these twos and the square root 3 also so what you get here is that 64 is equals to x times x, which is x squared, or square root of 64 is x. We have to take only positive values. So x is 8 for us. 
x is 8 so what is the length of each side now length of each side there are three equal sides right equals to 2 times 8 which is 16 units right therefore perimeter is equal to 3 times 16 so it becomes 48 right so 48 which is option B is the right option but I hope the method by which we got this answer is absolutely clear so uh, you could use a bit of trigonometry to find the height or if you know the special triangle 60 90 30 this is much much simpler so this question can be solved easily with that knowledge so I hope that helps thanks for sharing and uh, posting questions at my site if you like and subscribe that'd be great thank you and all the best